Shall Die in Florence was a strange premonition I got in my early 20s, even though I had never been to Florence at that time. When I got there a few years later, it didn't occur to me that it ultimately was or would be the end station of my journey. So this premonition stays as a mystery for me, an unanswered question. It did nevertheless trigger uh, reflection on my own death and what death means to me. I've always been interested in spirituality and by the matters of death, by how one goes to death, by what remains after ourselves and with ourselves when we cross the line, by why even long after their death there's still something from the people who have got a strong influence on the construction of our being still floating around ourselves. Life and death for me are actually very intertwined. They complement each other and they are one. I don't think we would live the way we live if we didn't know we were mortal. I believe that our being is formed like uh, some kind of patchwork of all the people who have got a strong meaning, a strong impact on ourselves, which doesn't always necessarily mean that they are people we've met in the flesh the spectrum of possibilities is extremely wide and that's what I would define as the soul. It is also a certain shared flux of energy, something charged with sensuality, which is not to be mixed up with sexuality. Sensuality for me is something else. Every human being is inhabited and crossed by a current of an inner life which must ancient traditions called the breath, pneuma. So being spiritual or sensual is to come into that breath, to let life fully embody ourselves. It's recognizing that there is something in human beings which enables them to love differently, to suffer differently and perhaps to die differently. And that's why I also think that spirituality is also humanism. No matter how fulfilled your life has been and how spiritual you are, accepting our mortality is a struggle and it does go through a very hard process of acceptation and resignation. Accepting that we have to live our life, leave life behind ourselves, accepting that we have to leave the people we love, but also that those loved ones will leave us, and accepting to go to the unknown. Life is a journey, but it is indeed a short one. So for me to cherish life, to love life, is probably the only way to accept the fate of death. To be able to maybe leave life with a smile. And throughout our journey, we want to fill our suitcases with as much as beauty as possible. Because the beauty of life is I believe, what we will take with ourselves and what we will leave behind, our gift to the living. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 